I haven't hosted a proper showdown in a while. Fight for blood! In the world of audio, there has been no more requested company for me to review than one more. Nearly every audio review I produce, I see this brand in my comments. I've finally managed to get some of their earbuds in my ears and this company completely deserves the reputation they've built with their customers. But we have a dilemma. They've got two takes on Bluetooth headsets, a dual driver setup with active noise reduction and a triple driver without the active noise canceling but with proper support for LDAC. Both are listed around the same price, so which should you spend your money on? Let's fight! On first glance, I think most consumers would assume that these are the same headset. Neck bands with non-retractable earbud cables, silver and black finish red trim. Now, neck bands are my personal favorite solution for Bluetooth, offering good battery life and the most convenient way to wear headphones when they're not in your ears. No cases or pocket space required. Objective fact, neck bands are the best. While the casing is very similar, one more delivers two completely different solutions based on the tech guts built in. The dual drivers feature one balanced arm and one dynamic driver per ear. This is proving to be a really popular way to divide up the frequency work per ear, gives crisp highs and mids, but without sacrificing some of that low end punch. And the triple drivers take this a step further with two balanced arms and a dynamic driver per ear. I'm happy to praise one more's balanced and even handed tuning, but the triple drivers clearly deliver a livelier sound. How you appreciate that audio quality depends on your environment though. Both headsets offer noise reduction for phone calls, but the triple driver depends solely on passive noise reduction, namely jamming something in your ear. These dual drivers, on the other hand, include microphones which work with the passive noise reduction to help actively cancel out environmental noise. Because these mics are analyzing the sound around you, they can also be flipped to provide an audio pass-through so you can hear the world around you without taking the earbuds out of your skull. Both headsets are extremely well accessorized. Silicone and foam ear tips for the triple drivers. The dual drivers only come with silicone ear tips, but also come with these handy wedges to help them stay seated in your ear during sportier activities. And lastly, a lifestyle consideration I really like, the dual drivers have magnets that keep the earbuds clipped together when not in use. I mean magnets, how do they work? Nobody knows. The triples just kind of flop around as you're going through your day. So obviously, these two products, while looking very similar, are built for very different audiences. So the obvious cop-out is to say, they're both really good, and you should use what you like. I mean, that's true, they are both really good, but what fun would that be? I'm a person and I have an opinion, so let's declare a winner. Both headsets are very well considered for each application, but I think one hits slightly closer to its demographic bullseye than the other. The dual drivers have an awesome collection of lifestyle considerations, but there's one small flaw. One small, tiny little blemish. This neckband design is super flexible, super durable, but in my opinion, built a little more for comfort, and as such, it doesn't quite secure itself around your neck. A loose, comfy fit is fine for general use, walking around, but working out, those little adjustments that you're making during your workout are a minor irritant, but considering the target use, the triple drivers had no such companion or analogous problem. The triple drivers aren't designed to be used in quite the same aggressive environment, so they really shouldn't be judged against that kind of metric. And when you combine that with the quality advantage of powering three drivers and connecting to your phone over LDAC, sending a higher quality signal, I have to lean towards the snobbier end of the One More product catalog. Winner! One more triple driver. But no, seriously, this was my first taste of this brand, and I'm really happy I took this ride. This is an amazing bang for buck, gorgeous construction, well-considered lifestyle features. One more is doing something special. And if you like your ears, you should give them a listen. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing, for subscribing, not just geeking out on fun audio tech, there are so many more conversations we need to have about hearing health and digital health in this modern age. If you would like to help support production on this channel, please head on over to somegadgetguy.com where you're gonna find a support banner and that's gonna be a current list of all my active partnerships and affiliates, including my Patreon campaign. It's a really fun community of like-minded tech geeks and that's also where you can find my patron exclusive content like smartphone audio reviews. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet 
at some gadget guy on the Twitters, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, occasionally on the Twitches, and I will catch you all on the next review.